Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another exciting round of Star Trek Trivia Showdown. I guess I'm your host, Jay. I was previously a contestant on the show. Have you ever hosted? No, I lost last time, which contractually obligates me to now be the host of Star Trek you Trivia. You have to pay back your debt. That's true, yeah. After this, I have yeah. to sweep the entire studio. And I'm sorry. And he has to wear a Discovery uniform. And I have to wear, that's the most embarrassing part of this. Part of your punishment. But our guests today are Mike and Rich. And I understand that both of you are fans of the popular television program, Star Trek. Well, well, specifically Star Trek The Next Generation. And this episode of Star Trek Trivia will exclusively feature questions only from Star Trek The Next Generation as taken from a, some kind of board game I thought maybe the card would give me some information, but it just gave me whoopee. Anyways, um, which a game which we both have uh, sworn affidavits that we had never played. No. You don't know the questions I'm gonna ask. I don't know the questions I'm gonna ask. So let's get started. What are we doing? Is this for, for charity or for uh, this money? This is for my f bank account. We're not oh. actually winning money, we're just playing points. Okay, this, this is for ego. Um, and uh, I think these questions are really hard. So, it, you know, don't judge us too too harshly here. Well, I did preview a few of the cards and I don't know if this tells you how difficult they are. I didn't know the answers to any of them. Well, let's get started with round one. In this round, I will be asking you questions back and forth. Uh, if you do know... He's boozing up. Is that, is that allowed? I would say it's pre-gaming, but we've already started the game. Does he have a problem? So round one, I will ask questions back and forth with the option for multiple choice. If you don't take the multiple choice and you get the answer correct, you get two points. If you need the multiple choice and you get it correct, you get one point. Understood. Who won the coin toss? I wasn't here. Rich did. Okay, you I guess start. I won the coin toss. All right. I wasn't here either. From what computer terminal did Jadan obtain information about the USS Enterprise's dilithium chamber? Oh, for f**k's sake. <sighs> Delan. Jadan. Jadan. Okay, uh, I'll take the multiple choice. <clears throat> A, 5C12, deck 35. B, uh, 12B9, deck 36. C, 17D4, deck 37. Steal! That's not a part of this round, Mike, I'm sorry. Rich, uh, you, Rich okay, think about it. I, can I help Rich a little? I, I don't know <laughs> this, but I, I can maybe guess with uh, the process of elimination. Let me, let me hear, let me hear, the, let me hear the, 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 the question. The, the uh, people have already turned the video off because <laughs> you're taking so long. <laughs> We've already had three ad breaks. I, I'm, gonna go with, I'm gonna go with A. Wait, no, stop, listen. Okay. Listen to, the, I, I don't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this on. I don't want your help. Okay, but go with A. I'll go with A. You're incorrect. Okay, okay. now here's well, the yeah. right answer. Dilithium crystals, are in the engine. What deck is engineering on? 36. He's correct. Damn, damn. He's correct. I mean, I, I don't know the episode. I don't know who they're talking about, but I use context clues to figure it out. Wow. Yes, you did from computer 12B9, deck 36. Mike. Yeah. Your first question. While in her quarters, what was Beverly Crusher clipping in the episode, cause and effect? Flowers. Flower petals? That's correct, a flowering plant. I should have deferred. That was a pretty easy one. Yeah, yeah. I, I get two, two because I didn't take the multiple choice. Oh, that's choice. true, you get two, sorry. Thanks, Rich. <laughs> you got my back, bra. <laughs> Rich. Yeah. In what episode did Counselor Troy die? I, multiple, what are the multiple choices? A, who watches the watchers, B, power play, or C, man of the people? Um. Power play, she gets possessed, so it's gonna be Man of the People? That's correct. That's one point. Mike, at what speed is the USS Enterprise traveling when the first experiment is conducted on the warp engine in Where No One Has Gone Before? Well, I have some logical guesses, but I think I'll have to take the multiple choice. I don't wanna work it out out loud, just give me the multiple choice. A, warp 1.5, B, warp 9.9, .9, 
or C, sublight speed? Warp 9.9. .9. That's incorrect. It's warp 1.5. Really? Really? Yeah. Okay. Unless it's wrong. I mean, that's when they push, beyond, <laughs> they push beyond warp 10 and they go on it. I like figured, infinite yeah. warp, they end up outside of the universe. It must have been they hit warp 1.5, then they started their experiment. Yeah. Commander, I'll make my preliminary adjustments at warp 1.5 and complete them as we achieve warp 4. All right, Rich. Yeah. On the crippled Romulan ship, it becomes necessary to jettison what in order to save the ship in the episode, The Next Phase? That would be uh, the warp core. The engine core. That's correct. So that's two points. Rich is ahead by one. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, f I knocked my beer over. Mike. Yeah. How did data, data? Jesus Christ, Jay. I know this. You're the host. You called me data. I am wearing a Discovery uniform, though. <laughs> oh, that explains why you don't know anything about Star Trek. <laughs> my name. It is pronounced data. Uh, how did Data entice the parasites off the USS Enterprise in cost of living? A, by making the USS Enterprise unappetizing. B, by flying the ship into the ionosphere of a star. Or C, by sending a particle beam of nitrium toward an asteroid. It's the second one. That's incorrect. It's really? A. It's, that's incorrect, too. It's, what? It's C, by sending you're, a particle you're, beam. You're thinking of the, um, the one, the space... Uh, Thing. Oh, the, the Tin Man? Yeah. Okay. No, no, not Tin Man. Um, the one that... Explain. Remember they, they, the space baby? They, yeah. They, its baby comes out and it thinks the Enterprise is its mother. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's... Uh, the the yeah. Leah Brahms one. They, 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 they make Stop. the energy that it's Stop. eating. Um, Stop. Put a little vinegar, the milk. vinegar and baby's Stop. milk. Yeah, that's, that's, Stop. that's what the trick was Stop. in the first one. Uh, Rich, name the spice that was in the milk drink Jean-Luc gave Beverly after she'd heard voices in the quarters in the episode, Cause and Effect. Mm, nutmeg. I don't want to guess, I'll take the multiple choice. A, nutmeg, C, B, cinnamon, C, cocoa. Mm, nutmeg. Is it cinnamon? Nutmeg. It's nutmeg. nutmeg. That was my other guess. Yeah, okay. it's nutmeg. So far the score is still rich with two. Rich with three, Mike with two. Okay, we gotta change that. We gotta fix this because this is just Speed embarrassing. Speed it up! Mike! Professor Moriarty had been locked away in the holodeck memory for how long before a technician opened the file? Okay. The, the last Moriarty episode, they locked him up. I think, in, I don't think he was in season three or four. Three, four, five, six, four years? That's correct, four yes. years? Fuck yes. Okay, Rich. How many centuries does Kosinski say man has been traveling in space in where no one has gone before? Uh, takes place 200 years in the future. I'm going to say 200, two centuries. I'm sorry. That's incorrect. It's three centuries. Uh, Mike. Yeah. How is data clearing the USS Enterprise of uh, chronotron fields? Data? Who's data? It is pronounced data. <laughs> How is data? I keep, I say data. It's data. I know his name is Data. I wish I wish I had the episode. None of none of them give you the exact. Yeah, yeah, some you, of them say in the question. You, you might be pronouncing. Say, say the damn question again. How is Data clearing the USS Enterprise of Chronotron fields? Uh, uh, multiple choice, please. A. A tachyonometer. B. An anion beam. C. Back flushing the life support systems with prositronic emissions. No, that doesn't make any sense. A, a confined <laughs> anion beam that sounds, sounds familiar. If this is the next phase, I I'm going to go with that. That's correct. Thanks. I will modify an anion emitter to eliminate the fields once they've been isolated. Okay, Rich. Yeah. According to Jean-Luc Picard, how good a swimmer is his friend, Louis? Multiple choice. This is, this is apparently an exact quote. A, the best swimmer I've ever met. B, a fair swimmer. C, a rotten swimmer. That's A or C. I'm going to go with uh, C. That's correct. Mike, in The Perfect Mate, shortly after her emergence from stasis, who escorted Kamala to her quarters and was very tempted by her offer? Commander William T. Riker. That's correct. 
two points, bitch. Yeah, that was an easy one. What are, what are we going up to with the first round? That's the Until one where Until Mike is ahead. Well, you're that's, already ahead. That's the episode where after he drops her off, he yeah. instantly books time in the holodeck. To go masturbate. Yes. Rugger to bridge. If you need me, I'll be in holodeck four. I thought this was a science fiction show, not reality. <laughs> Uh, oh, that was Mike. So this is Rich. What was the name of Wesley Crusher's squadron in The First Duty? What do you think? I'll know with the multiple choice. Give me the multiple choice. Can I steal? Oh, wait, no. No. <laughs> uh, A, Alpha, B, Nova, C, Orion. Um, Orion? Wrong, Nova. That's incorrect. It's Nova. All right, why don't we go to whoever gets... 10 points. What, you got somewhere to be? I'm having the best time I've had all year. I'm just trying to give some structure to this. Okay, 10 points. 10 points for the first round, and then we'll move on to round Okay, that's fair. 10 and 10 and 10. How about that? Uh, Okay, Mike. In the outcast, who piloted one of the USS Enterprise shuttlecrafts into the pocket of null space? Okay, well, it's Riker and the non-binary... Uh, in a uh, life form lady, lady actress, uh, lady actress played her, but she didn't have a gender. I think, yes, she was, she said she was a good pilot. They said they were a good pilot. I have to be politically correct here. That's the point of the episode, I'm um, assuming. Although he calls her her the entire episode. Oh, <laughs> but, uh, canceled. Okay. Um, she identifies as a her. That was the whole point of the episode. It was, yes. Um, oh, it's very confusing though. Okay. I am female. I was born that way. It's, a, a, she She knows how to pilot, and she knows the space. Riker goes with her because they have a love affair. It's not Riker, it's gotta be that character, but I don't remember that character's name. Give me the multiple choice. Before I give you the multiple choice, can I say that all the multiple choices are two people? If that helps you come up with an answer before I give you the I don't multiple know. choice. Okay. A, Riker and Soren. B, Riker and Data. Data. C, Riker and Jordy. The, the first one, right? <laughs> Soren. <laughs> That's correct. Uh, Rich. In Where No One Has Gone Before, what caused the USS Enterprise to travel to a distant galaxy? Uh, the, the failed experiment with the Traveler. The Traveler is yeah. probably the answer they want, right? Is this close enough? Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. That's right! Yay! Mike, what put Ambassador Briam in sickbay in the episode The Perfect Mate? Okay, okay. Did I That's say his great. name right? No, it doesn't matter, but if you give me the episode name, I can figure out who Ambassador Briam is. Okay. Um, he got, he, oh, P- Ferengi's knocked him over and, and be landed on a table. <laughs> yeah, that's it. He got beat up by Ferengi's. Rich, well, what is, this is the, what the answer on the card is. Oh, you can't read, none of us can read oh, anymore. Wait. <laughs> I brought these. I'm just wondering if what he's saying is, is close enough. Ferengi's accosted him in his quarters and they the pushed Fra- him Ferengi's down. have nothing to do with the answer on the card. That's why. Right, what did you say the answer was, Mike? Ferengi's beat him up and he they knocked him over and he broke a table. And yeah, had... yeah, that's, that's close enough. That's, I know that's... what scene it is. Well, the actual answer is he fell into a glass sculpture. That's not glass table. Glass completely sculpture. accurate. Okay. It's uh, yeah. He, uh, there might have been a glass sculpture on the table. I'm. I'm Pretty sure, yeah, he got knocked over. I'm right, I know the scene and I know exactly what happened. Frangis came on board because they were sniffing out Famke Jensen. <laughs> oh, it always comes back to Famke Jensen, she huh? was, And they wanted her, they wanted to steal her <laughs> and so they, they, got, they got the ambassador over. Okay, okay. When they started fighting. Well, I'm gonna give it to you. When you're editing this episode, you can show the clips here and let the people decide there, this is close It might have answer. just been a sculpture that he fell on, but I'm pretty sure there was a table involved too. Okay. Well, then uh, you didn't take the multiple choice, so no, that's two points. Yeah. That's so that's two. 10 points. That's the end of round one. All right, all right. Mike is ahead by just a couple. It's anyone's game, everybody. We're going to head into round two after these 15 commercial breaks. <laughs> Haven't they already had five? <laughs> Be gone. Gentlemen, welcome back for round two. This is the buzz in round. I will ask a question, you'll buzz in. If you get the answer incorrect, the other person can steal it. Mike, you're at 10 points. Rich, you're at six. I know, I know. I'm getting smoked. No, no, you're doing good. 
In the Outcast, the first shuttle mission concerning the null space was to... What was its purpose? Pass? <laughs> Pass <laughs> means you don't hit the buzzer, which are you've we, already... Are we, are we losing points? No. No. <laughs> to chart the problem. Chart the pocket. There you go. That's correct. I don't, is a problem a pocket? That's an anomaly. They right. He said Fine. chart. He Fine. said the Move word chart. Fine, on to the next one. That's bullshit. <laughs> is that one or two? Are we getting one or two points? One. one. These are one These points. are all These one are one? Points. All right. Yeah. According to Shelby, what is the Borg footprint? Um, the electromagnetic resonance or something. That's correct. Uh, to whom did Eloxana Troy say, I've always admired strong males? I think Cat that was rich. I'll go with Picard. It's probably her. That's incorrect. Yeah, yeah. Mike? Worf. That's incorrect Riker? too. It's Daimoin Tog. <sighs> I've always admired strong males. Oh, Damon Tog. Ah, uh, yeah. Damon Tog. She's playing him for a fool. So that's a Menage a Troy. Yeah. When they got, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, she's, Is the episode called Menage a Troy? That's pretty good. It's clever. Cause, this cause show sounds super horny. Why, there's why, why, a lot of sex stuff. It. Yeah, Troy. <laughs> it was the 80s, baby. <laughs> Troy, Riker, and Troy's mother get kidnapped by Ferengis. But but to our our credit. Um, she has a long-standing crush on Picard. She has a long-standing uh, history of hitting on every man <laughs> around. <laughs> so it could have been from any fucking episode she was on. She even hit on Alexander. She got him. <laughs> She got them all, uh, she was, she gave them a in the mud bath. Oh my God, this show sounds filthy. <laughs> yeah. Who beams over the ship, Mondor, to help with repairs? Jordi LaForge? Yeah. That's correct. Yes. That's, that's the, I was we just about to hit it. Make us go. Yeah. Who told Riker, if you can't make the big decisions, I suggest you make room for someone who can, Mike. Shelby. Shelby. That is correct. According to Captain Picard, what is something of a tradition before a battle? Touring the ship. Touring the ship. Uh, I guess I'll give that to Rich. That was pretty close, though. To whom did Worf say, I have much to teach you about women? Wesley Crusher? I think it was, I have much to teach you about women. Data? It's Jordy. I was going to say Jordy. That was, that, was Jordy my second, again? that was my second guess. When Picard told the Borg that we would rather die than be held captive, what was the reply of the Borg collector? Resistance is, is futile. I got it. Mm. <laughs> nice try. Well, so far for this round, you're both tied for three. All right, this is embarrassing. How did China O'Brien dislocate his shoulder in the holodeck? China O'Brien? China O'Brien? How did, <laughs> that's a show, right? China O'Brien, isn't that the name of a show? Cynthia Rothrock is. China O'Brien. Does that sound familiar? It does sound familiar. I think that's a TV show. That's why I read it as that. Okay. How did Chief O'Brien dislocate his shoulder in the holodeck? He was like um, skiing or doing some kind of winter sport. No. Okay. Uh, I was kayaking on the holodeck again. Kayaking. Oh, it was kayaking. Yeah. See, I knew it was a, a, an activity. Yeah, yeah, it was an activity that disclo dislocated his arm. Yes. <laughs> well, it could have been Parisi Squares. It could have been some kind of science fiction thing. The 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 tennis game they play. Yeah. But I knew it was like an outdoor activity, yeah. like like hiking. I thought or it was skiing. skiing. Yeah. Bendy syndrome affects what species? Vulcans. That's correct. Yes. Where on his body did Kivas Faho wear a proximity activated field that kept Data from attacking him? Part of his. Where on his body? On his belt? That's correct. Damn it. This is a proximity actuated field. It impedes positron flow. It's very bad for the brain paths in, in the long term. That's the guy with the most toys. Who did Manwa Apgar claim attempted to sexually assault her? This show. Riker. That's correct. She's lying. That never happened. 
That's the only one who ever got accused of rape on Star Trek. I mean, <laughs> based on previous answers, that would have been my guess as well. Who was the only freshman to win Starfleet Academy Marathon? Jean-Luc Picard? That's correct. Who monitored the mind meld between Sarek and Picard? Dr. Crusher. That's right. Who killed Duras? Worf. Damn it! That's Worf. Sorry, Rich. It's all right. That's our Worf. Oh! Worf killed everybody. <laughs> In power play, where did the alien-controlled crew members keep their hostages? Yeah. Ten forward! Fuck, fuck. That's correct! Beverly Crusher is suspicious of men in beards because she feels they have what? Cooties! <laughs> that's incorrect! Something to hide? That's right! Something to hide! I remember that line. I remember the line, Rich. In ethics, Jordy and Worf were discussing what game? My hand was not strong enough. You had jacks and eights, she bluffed you with a pair of sixes. Poker? Poker. That's a point for Rich. In the episode, The Last Outpost, what are the Ferengi armed with? Laser Damn whips! It! Stun whips, I'll give you that. That's 10 All points right. for Mike. That's the end of round two. You know what? I'm gonna be kind. Let's go five more. Okay. <laughs> As children, Picard and Kiko snuck past a Ferengi guard in the transporter room to steal. What did they sneak past to steal? The, 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 the oh God. It's um the the when they turn into little people. Yep. I don't know. I, I don't, little I, people. You mean children? Little people. Yeah, children. <laughs> and, and, it, and it's Keiko. But um, they they went to steal, uh, like a, like the security code for the yeah. transporter beam or something. Uh, it says phasers. Oh, jeez. <laughs> In the opening scene of Conundrum, which two members are playing 3D chess? Oh, Data and um, Troy. That's correct. They done someone. Troy beats him. Yeah. Thanks. Oh my God. Name the only member of the crew to be married for a time to a 12 year old child. That'd be Miles O'Brien. Oh my God. You guys watch this show? She got de-aged. Doesn't count. Oh my God. It was really awkward. <laughs> Lieutenant Worf has a Klingon statue of whom in his quarters? It's two people. Oh, uh. Do you know who they are? Kalis and, um, who fought Kalis in the, in the epic battle? There, there's like a statue of them fighting. Was it his brother? You both get a point. Hey! Is, it, is the answer just <laughs> Kalis and his brother? Kalis and his brother Morath. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I, I couldn't you got, remember you got half and you got half, so you both get a point. <laughs> High five. Them's the rules. We're gonna do one more question for this round now. All right, fine. All right, all I'm right. I'm gonna make it a good one. Okay. How many pieces of music was Data listening to at one time? Oh, Jesus Christ. Forty-seven. No. Fifty-three. No. Ten. 12. No. Eight. Fifteen. <laughs> 72. 39. Lower. 5? 7. 6. 4. 3. 7. 8. 9. <laughs> what do they provide? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. What was it? 4. Oh, come on. All right, we'll do one more. Okay, one more. <clears throat> How many livers does a Klingon have? Two. That's correct. Yeah, all Klingons have redundant organs. Klingon anatomy. 23 ribs. Two livers. Eight chambered heart. Final round? That's the end of round two. We're now about to enter our final round after this bathroom break. <laughs> Gentlemen, we're on to round three. Mike, you're at 24 points. Richard, you're at 14. And for our final round, we are doing back and forth, no multiple choice. And if the person doesn't know the answer, the other person can steal. Mm -hmm. That's where we're at. Who starts? Because Rich started at the beginning, I should start now. 
That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> All right, Mike. In violations, what object was inside the cup Keiko was remembering? Keiko. Keiko. Um, it, there was a cup. There was a cup. Oh, um, uh, Oh, it had, uh, uh, sorry, it had uh, uh, water that with paintbrushes that you, you clean paintbrushes in. An ink brush, I'll give that to you. Yeah, yeah. That's a deep cut. Yeah. That's double points, by the way. Rich, yeah. Who gave the Romulans the defense access codes for the planet Ketomar? Ketomar. That would be... Uh... Worf's father was accused of it, but it was really uh, one of the Duros family. Is that good enough? Duras? I have no idea. Well, that's not the answer. It's a specific name. I don't know the name of, like, Duras' okay. dad. That's why I'm wondering, so, like, is that I, close I would enough for you give him? Okay. Mike, from what planet were the original colonists of Turkana IV? Earth? That's correct. How many people were found alive on the cryo... How many people were find, found? Three. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, free ship in the neutral zone. That's correct. It's three. Because we brought that up in a video recently. I don't remember why. You lucky fuck. Mike, what emergency provisions did Durgo carry on the mining shuttle Nenebek? One week of rations. That's incorrect, Rich. Romulan ale. <laughs> That's incorrect. It's none. My, my answer was in the spirit <laughs> of the right answer. All right, Rich. In Future Imperfects, what did Georgie, what did Jordy LaForge use to see? Bionic, like surgically I, I repaired eyes? Was it? I know this. Wait, yeah. stop. I haven't needed a visor since I got these cloned implants, Captain. They're cloned. Eyes. Cloned implants. Was it cloned yeah. implants? They're not okay. bionic. They're clones. That, oh, okay. He didn't have his visor. That's all I know. Yes, yes. Well, but, that goes without saying because it says that he could see. Yeah. But, so. but let me be specific. In the later Star Trek movies, he gets robotic eyes. Our, in, in Future and Perfect, he gets literal organic cloned eyes. Uh, and so there's a vast difference between those two things. Bionic and clone. That's so true. I'm taking That's those true. points. Yeah. Take, I told, if you I, steal it, is it two points? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because that's a very specific answer. I'm so sorry, Because his eyes were brown. like his, They were his regular eyes. He didn't have the, the, the robot contacts in. You know I'm right. No offense. None taken. Mike, what, what is Worf's adoptive mother's first name? Meruvaga. Rich for the steel. I'm gonna go with something Russian. Uh, I'm just gonna go with Anna. Helena. Helena. Uh, Rich. Yeah. What kind of emotional outburst does Guinan discuss with Worf in Redemption? Uh, discussing it with oh, in Redemption, uh, anger. That's incorrect. Mike. I've seen you laugh. I like it. Klingons do not laugh. Oh, laughing, laughing. That's correct. I was thinking of uh, Descent. Where, where... Mike, this is an episode-related question. Hot damn. What was the first episode to show the Ferengi? Oh, the last oh, outpost. last outpost. That's correct. Which officer first welcomed Ishara Yar aboard the USS Enterprise? Data? That's correct. All right, Mike. Yeah. In Future Imperfect, who did Jean-Luc Picard... Wait, what? Who did Jean-Luc Riker say... That's incorrect. <laughs> Had asked him about the Fornax disaster. That that is correct. That is correct. Yeah. It's an episode where Riker's in a fake future. Oh my God! This his, is this is throwing his, me off. Okay. His kid is Jean Luc Riker. Okay. Okay. Tomalock? No. Uh, Jordy? It's Mr. Greenberg. 
Yeah, Every, of course. There's everybody Mr. knows Mr. Greenberg. Come on. That was okay. my favorite toy as a kid. like his teacher at school uh, or something. Rich? Yeah. Who is the only race to use the molecular decay detonator? Romulan or Ferengi? I'm going to go Romulan. That's correct. Mike, who rescued Ashari Yar after she was trapped behind Alliance lines on an away team mission? Data. That's incorrect. Rich? Riker? It is Riker. Oh, damn it. You are both at 10 points for this round. This is embarrassing. <laughs> You're ahead by 10 points. <laughs> but we tied on this round. My charity round. <laughs> All right, so we're going to ask 10 more questions. Sure. I guess, or no, 10 more. Whoever gets 10 more, correct. Yeah. Okay. And then we're do done it. with this round. Okay. So, Rich. Yeah. In the episode, Akil, who is the first survivor found on the station? Akil? Yes. Spell it. A-Q-U-I-E-L. Akil. Okay. Okay. Um... Is that a real word? That was the one with... This is one with Q's, or that with the, the the young Q, right? I'm trying to remember what episode that is. Let me know. <laughs> Who was the first survivor? God damn it! I don't know. Uh, okay, so this is the episode where there's the girl that Jordy <laughs> falls in love with, and. She's with the guy who she thinks is trying to kill her. She ends up phasering him to death. Okay. And I think her character's name is Aquiel, so yeah. that's who it is. It's Mara the dog. I feel like I would know this one without just by guessing. Mike? Yeah. Who told Picard I've done it all because I want you to be proud of me? Wesley? That's correct. It's like a softball. See, he... That's not fair. Because Jay basically gave it away. He tipped me off. No. I, I might suppose. have guessed him because he, he probably wants, would have guessed him. But it could have been like Tasha Yar, you know, yeah. from or Ensign Rowe. Yeah. Right? Because she yeah. was always seeking Picard's approval, you know. Uh, so don't you're the you're the fucking host. Stay out of it. <laughs> okay. I'm standing up for Rich here. <laughs> Well, if it helps, Rich, I wouldn't know the answer to this one. No, that does not help. When Deanna Troy is depressed, what does she like to eat? Ice cream. Chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. That, chocolate ice cream. Is it just chocolate? It's a chocolate sundae. Okay. Technically. Okay. But. Okay. Okay. That's. I will give that to you. We should get both a point because she likes chocolate in all forms. <laughs> and I, no, 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 no. Fine, you get it. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She doesn't just like any kid. Deanna Troy, your ship's counselor, half Betazoid, loves chocolate. The arrival of her mother makes you shudder. Mike? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You look ready. I'm ready. Much okay. Sure. From what race had the proto humanoids on Minkata evolved? Mintaka evolved. Um, what race? Specific race? Yes. Mintaka? Mintaka 3. Um. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. That's, um, isn't that, um, uh, uh, it's, I, it's, um. I know the answer. I do too. It's the, uh, I, th I want to say it's Vulcans. Well, you're in luck, Rich, because he's run out of time. Proto Vulcans. That's yeah. correct. That, no, you can't just, it, I said Vulcans. <laughs> It's, you didn't say Vulcan. I did. You heard me. You, I, I, you, you said you said you ran out of time <laughs> no, before you said it. It's you the, ran out of time before you said it. I said that Vulcan. was taking you way too long. No, I had. To, I was trying to think of the name of the episode. It's, um, it's who watches what, the Watchers? Who watches the Watchers? It's when they go down to the planet and they all look like Vulcans. They proto Vulcans. I knew that. <laughs> But you just you 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 suddenly knew arbitrarily it after I, your time had run you out. I, there's video proof that I said Vulcans. I said I want to say it's Vulcans. After your time had run out. But suddenly you spent, there's a time limit? You spent 27 minutes trying to think of the answer to that question, and we got to keep the game moving, sir. There was sir. never a time limit. Sir. Okay, sir. fine. Sir, Baba, sir, sir the judges have clearly ruled against you, sir. 
Do I need to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you're, gonna, gonna, you're having a public freak out. I'm gonna start, <laughs> start filming it. Post it on TikTok, post it on TikTok. I don't like this. I'm so mad right now. I'm, Again, knock, he's still knock ahead. Knock the podium over <laughs> and ask for the manager, please. Get going. Rich. Yeah. Where did Wesley Crusher obtain the two nanites for his class experiment? Um, uh, I'm gonna guess from his mother, from... Where? Where? Where did he obtain these? The original two? Uh, I mean, probably a replicator. That's incorrect. Where did Wesley Crusher obtain the two nanites can for I, his class? Can I be more specific when I said his mother's sick bay? Sick bay is correct. So. Okay, okay. His, mother's, his, mother's, his mother's the doctor. And that's kind of what I meant when I said. Yeah, I was going to oh, say okay. a Petri dish in sick bay. Okay. But uh, I guess someone has unlimited time to answer a question. He answered and, it like, and right is after. allowed to change their answers arbitrarily. He didn't change his answer. He just elaborated on a way yeah. that made sense to me because I didn't know that that was correct. That, that was you, a part of sick bay. What do you think I meant? You think, do you think I meant like the nano, nanobots came out of his mother's Okay, so we're allowed elaborations and unlimited time limits now. <laughs> Let's begin. He answered immediately after I asked the question. This game show answer. is turning hostile. <laughs> I'm getting angry. It's getting heated. It's getting heated Look, in here. anything can happen. All right, Mike. Uh, I, is this individual question, so it stay the fuck out of my question. <laughs> yes, I even asked the question. Yeah, yeah. So shut your face. <laughs> what weapon was Jordy programmed to use to assassinate Governor Vaughn in the mind's eye? Well... Okay, How, what's my time limit? I'm, I, he definitely fires a phaser at him. That's the correct answer. Okay, thank you. <laughs> which, to which Picard grabs his arm at the last second. Rich. Yeah. In Realm of Fear, Barkley was running a stress reduction program. What was he listening to? Mm, computer, mm, more birds. Barclay? Barkley. Whatever. Barkley. What was he listening to? Sounds of the ocean? Beach? I'm going to give you that. Seagulls and ocean sounds. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, sounds of ocean went in yeah. my head too, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then it Seagulls became, it became annoying saying. to him, and he's like, turn it off. Like, I can't take it. Mike, what was the occupation of the fat Ferengi in Unification? Uh, uh, he, he bartered for information. They bought information from him? What was the occupation of him? Bartender? No. Okay, go ahead. I, I don't... Well, something shady, underworld, and criminal. I'm going to say arms dealer. That's correct. Damn it, you fuck. <laughs> and that makes you the winner of the round. 20 points, Oh, Rich. my God! That's the end of round three. Mike is still ahead, but he's still angry. <laughs> very, very angry. <laughs> <laughs>All right, gentlemen, that's the end of round three. Mike, you're at 38 points. Rich, you're at 34 points. Damn. I understand we have one final, final round that you gentlemen are going to have to explain because I don't know what we're doing. Well, Rich and I will both grab a card at random and back and forth, we will ask you, Jay, the host, uh, the questions. And the first one you get right, that person asking the question, me or Rich, Wins the game. Wins the entire game. Yeah. So we've all the points up until now yeah. Yeah. have uh, been completely pointless. Right. Okay. We're picking a card at random or are we choosing a question that we think we Jay will know? We have to pick it at random. So this is just, all right. Gentlemen, pick your cards. I've picked my card. It has a I don't know why I even picture bothered. of a bunch of binaries on the cover. <laughs> I don't know why I bothered uh, keeping track of score. If none of it matters. That's pretty true, but, yeah, yeah. But here we go. Can we read any question on here, or do we have to read the question? I said in order? starting from the top I'll, down. All right, motherfucker. Because you can't pick a question that you think is the easiest. This is the randomness of it. I Quest thought, I thought I there was going to be. I thought there was going to be some skill involved. No skill. In picking I was a question. Say, uh, who starts? The person with the most points, or the person with the least? Person points? with the most points. 
<laughs> Why did the Romulan's graviton field generator have to be replaced in the next phase? No, no, he could guess then with multiple choice, so no multiple choice. What's your answer? Because it was broken. Wrong. Rich? <laughs> uh, what, what Top was it? question. Oh, 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 then my, according to the data, what percentage of Starfleet Academy graduates are posted to Galaxy Class Starships on their first assignment? 12. No, it's nine. Hey, that was just close. Yeah, I could have yeah. said like 50 or something. It's gonna be some low. Ooh. Rich, you can't buzz in. Name the crewmen who were lost during transport back to the USS Enterprise in the next phase. <laughs> Name the crew members who were what? Oh God. Lost during transport back to the USS Enterprise in the episode, The Next Phase. Picard and Riker. Wrong. Rich. Was it either of them? Picard or Riker? No. What drink did Loxana Troy offer to make Damon Tog in an attempt to get his computer access code? Romulan Ale. Acturian Fizz. What Starfleet officer helped a Romulan jettison a damaged piece of equipment in the next phase? Picard. Was it Riker? Wrong. Oh. What is Umox? <laughs> Some sort of disease? No. It's, cr it's caressing a Frangie's ear. Oh. It's even worse than you think. This show is so disgusting. To whom did Dr. Crusher say she hated filling out death certificates? Riker. You wanna try that again? <laughs> That was my answer. She said she hates filling out death certificates, and she's talking to a very, very important specific. He, he gave an answer. I did give an answer. He gave an answer, Mike. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> he wants me to cheat. I know he does. I'm not going to do it. Who does Loxana Troy call little one? Crusher? Wesley Crusher? <laughs> Loxana Troy. That, that doesn't mean anything to me. The mother of um, Counselor Troy. Troy. Okay. I thought I had a, I thought I had a chance with that one. I was no. hoping he was going to guess Captain Picard. <laughs> I mean, I could just get, uh, guess Picard for every question, and events, eventually I'll get it, right? <laughs> I mean, that's a strategy. That yes. is a strategy. According to lore, how long did he spend floating in space after he was beamed off the USS Enterprise? Five years. Two years. Who are the members of the USS Enterprise away team who beamed down to Golundin Corps? There are three. Jordy, Riker, Picard. Damn it! <laughs> who was it? Jordy, Riker, Worf. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, can I just skip? <laughs> okay, let's stop. We have to restructure the yes. program. Yes, yes, this isn't working. We this... have to do, Jay reads us a cold question, next person who gets it right wins the game. <laughs> Buzzing. Who did Kilimar blame for luring the crystalline entity to Omicron Theta? <laughs> Data. That's incorrect, Rich. Lore. It's lore for 100 points. Rich wins the game. <laughs> well, thank you everyone for joining me on the first and last episode of Mike vs. Rich Star Trek Trivia. My, my That's prizes. the end of the game. Your prize is uh, the... I have to fix the podium. <laughs> <laughs>